What's up guys? Today I really wanted to talk about all the Disney movies that are coming out this year. Uh, we thought that 2016 was kind of like Disney's year. We had so many incredible movies like Finding Dory and Moana and of course you can't forget Star Wars and all the Marvel movies that came out last year. Zootopia! There were a ton of awesome movies and so I'm really hoping that 2017 ends up just like 2016 with some incredible Disney movies. So today I wanted to talk about all the Disney movies that are coming out this year and which ones that I'm most excited for. So the first Disney movie coming out this year is Beauty and the Beast. It comes out on March 17th and I I am so excited. Um, I love to be very hesitant about Disney movies being made into live action movies and I don't know why. I did the same thing with Cinderella. I was like, the trailers look interesting but I don't know if it's gonna be good. And then of course the live action Cinderella is like one of my favorite movies now. I loved it. Um, but I'm a little hesitant about Beauty and the Beast. I love Emma Watson. I'm a really big Emma Watson fan and the trailers look really good. Uh, we finally got more trailers of her singing which was awesome because we were all waiting for that. So I don't know, I have to keep my expectations low because I want to be blown away by it. If I go in there with them too high, I don't want to leave disappointed because I, Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite Disney movies and it's just such a beautiful story. I mean, just the music in the trailer and the imagery and the cinematography and it just looks so stunningly beautiful. Um, I feel like they captured the vibe of Beauty and the Beast, uh, which is so different from any other Disney movie. You can't compare Beauty and the Beast to Cinderella. They're just different. I'm just really excited to see how this movie translates to a live action film. Ugh, I can't wait to see it. So obviously that's the first Disney movie coming out this year, but also one that ranks really high on my excitement list. I can't wait to see it. The next Disney movie coming out is called Born in China, and it's coming out on Earth Day. Now Disney's been doing Earth Day movies for a few years now. I love that they're documentary style focused on animals uh, from all over the world. We've had so many different ones uh, with like oceans, we've had one about lions and monkeys, and they've all been so beautiful. So this one, Born in China, is about panda bears and it takes place in China. You know Disney and their animal movies, they always have to get you right in the feels. But I love going to see their wildlife nature movies uh, on Earth Day. I think that's really cool, so I'm looking forward to that one. And for those of you who don't know, Earth Day is April 21st. So the next Disney movie coming out is on May 5th and that's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2! Yes! I'm actually really excited for Volume 2. Um, I, I think a lot of times the second movie in an installment of superhero movies tends to be a bit better because we don't have to worry about introductions and getting the audience to like characters and now we can kind of just put the characters that we already know into an action-packed plot. So I have a feeling that this movie is going to be even better than the first Guardians of the Galaxy. And frankly, I hope it is better because I want superhero movies to get better and better and better. And I especially feel with the Marvel Cinematic Universe that they do a really good job with their sequels. So I'm really looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I, I just have a feeling it's going to be good, but I hope it is. Also, I have two words for you. Baby Groot. <laughs> So cute! The next Disney movie coming out is Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. Yep, we are getting another Pirates of the Caribbean movie coming out on May 26th. I don't know about you guys, but I am a huge, huge, huge fan of the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And I thought the second and third were good, but they were definitely not as good as the first one. And the fourth one, yeah, didn't come close. But I love the Pirates franchise and I love Jack Sparrow, so I'm really hoping that this movie kind of brings us back to what we love about the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie uh, and kind of gives us all those feels again. I'm hoping that it's going to be good, but I don't have very high expectations for it. Pirates is like my favorite ride at Disneyland, and I loved that first movie so much. <sighs> It's just a great franchise, so I'm really hoping that this one is really, really good. The next Disney movie that's coming out is Cars 3. Cars 3 is coming out on June 16th. Wow, I mean, Disney is really kind of throwing us for a loop with this one. Did you guys see the trailer? We also just got a new clip last night. I mean, I am very curious to see this movie. I am thinking it's going to be good. We also got a look at some of the new characters that look really interesting, so I'm hoping that this movie is going to be good. I mean, the Cars franchise, I feel like, has always been that, you know, s ugly stepsister to the rest of the Pixar family. A lot of people don't like Cars, uh, but a lot of kids 
love the Cars movies. But I think with Cars 3, they're gonna kinda come back to what they're known for, and that's making movies for people of all ages, so kids will love it as well as adults. But I'm excited to see it, and I hope it's gonna be really good. Alright, we are already headed into holiday season, which is crazy, but on November 3rd, we get Thor Ragnarok. Yay! I love the Thor movies. Thor is my favorite Avenger, uh, and Thor 2 was incredible. So I'm really hoping that this one is going to be just as good as Thor 2. I have to read you guys the description of this movie because the way that it's laid out and written is just, it just sounds really epic. So Thor finds himself in a deadly gladiatorial contest that pits him against the Hulk. Thor's quest for survival leads him in a race against time to prevent the all-powerful Hela from destroying his home world and the Asgardian civilization. Please be good! I mean, that description sounds awesome, and uh, Hela is being played by Kate Blanchett, who's a fabulous actress, so if she's gonna be the villain, that's gonna be really, really amazing. I really hope Loki is going to be involved somehow. Gosh, I'm just, I'm really excited. I hope that this Thor movie is gonna be really good. I love Thor. So on November 22nd, we are getting a new Disney Pixar movie called Coco. Coco is inspired by the traditional Mexican holiday, Dia de Muertos. The movie is about a young boy who develops a love of music and accidentally finds himself in the land of the dead, which sounds so cool. This movie actually sounds really awesome and I'm extremely happy that Mexican heritage is being represented in a Disney Pixar movie. I think that's really important and I hope this movie does really well and I hope people go see it. I've always been so fascinated by Dia de Muertos, which is a celebration of the dead. It's at the end of October. So I find that really intriguing and I love that they use that as inspiration for this Disney Pixar movie. And I'm hoping that like any other Disney Pixar movie, it's going to be adventure filled and action packed. but they always find a way to hit you in the feels, and hard. <laughs> so I expect nothing less for Coco. I'm hoping that this movie's gonna be really awesome. I know I'm really excited to see it. All right, so I think you guys know what this final Disney movie is coming out at the end of the year on December 15th. It is dun 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 <laughs> Star Wars Episode Eight. Can't wait. I cannot wait for Star Wars Episode Eight. Yes, I just rhymed, and yes, that was an accident, but I am really, really excited for this movie. I loved The Force Awakens. I love Rey, I love Finn, I love Poe. I cannot wait to see them all get thrown back into the adventure. And with the passing of Carrie Fisher uh, so recently, it's going to be so heartbreaking to watch her in this film because uh, she had just finished episode eight um, like right before she passed away so we will get to see her in the movie and oh, it's gonna be really heartbreaking and um, at the same time it's 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 almost like a joyous celebration that she got to you know go out as Princess Leia so I find that super super special and I can't wait to see this movie I am just hoping it's gonna be just as good as The Force Awakens or better but I am so ready for action-packed hilarious funny moments and Ray Finn Poe I can't wait I just can't wait <laughs> well there you have it those are all the Disney movies coming out in 2017 I think out of all of them the ones I'm most excited to see have to be oh gosh this is so hard uh, Coco for sure Beauty and the Beast um, I can't wait for Thor and Star Wars Episode VIII. Uh, so those are just some of the ones that I'm the most excited for, but I'm probably, no, I'm most definitely going to be seeing every single movie that I said today. But I wanna know from you guys, did I miss a Disney movie that's coming out this year? And also, which one are you the most excited to see and why? Let me know in the comments below. Please click right here to subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. And then if you wanna catch up on any other videos that I've posted recently, you can click right here and check them out. And I'll see you guys soon.